guys, welcome back. Hi, I'm Krista from Plant Lux. How are you today? Uh, today we're gonna do a potting of this giant, huge golden pothos. It's a Hawaiian or high gold pothos. So we're going to pot this guy up today. And we're gonna check out the roots and the overall health of the plant. I'm gonna show you what soil I'm going to use and how I'm gonna do it. Pretty much it. If you are new here, check out my website, plantlux.com and sign up to be notified when we launch. It should be July 1st. That is my target date, July 1st. Not all plants will be ready, but some of my plants will be. And uh, yeah, it'll be great. So check it out. Go to plantlux.com to sign up. All right, great. So let's just get right into it. So um, first things first, in order to get this big giant out of the pot, uh, one of the first things that we had to do was use a cutter, a box cutter to cut the pot. So my husband already cut the pot for me. So, you know, it's already pre-cut. So we can make it easy to take out of the pot because you don't wanna upset the leaves or break off any leaves or anything like that by trying to like, you know, turn it on its side or anything like that. So here we do, uh, here we have it. Another, hold on. And um, I need someone to help me get this guy out of the pot. So while I'm waiting for some assistance, I'm gonna show you the soil mixture and uh, I'm gonna mix up some soil. So let's come over here. I've got a spoon. Okay, I've got some in here already. I'm gonna use these two buckets to stir it in. And I also have put some in here because I wanted to show you guys kind of like what the mixture is. So here we have some really thick orchid bark. Okay, so our orchid bark. We have, um, we have worm castings here and perlite, and then we have also some vermiculite. It's already starting to kind of mix in there. Over here we have some activated charcoal, and we have some general potting mix underneath. I think that's all the ingredients. Oh, cocoa coir's in there too. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and try to take a shortcut here. Because it's so much soil, it's just easier for me to do it like this, bucket by bucket. That's how I'm gonna mix it up. We've got some chunks of bark in there, lots of drainage, great for the plant, yet it'll retain moisture because it has a coca coir in it. And yeah, so it'll be great. Lots of drainage from the perlite, vermiculite, uh, orchid bark, as well as the uh, activated charcoal. You can see that the, the charcoal is throughout the mixture. So good mix. All right, I feel good about that. This does look like it is quite a substantially larger pot, but it is only one to two sizes larger, which is completely fine. Um, you know, it, there won't be a root rot situation or anything like that because the bottom two inches of this pot is actually a chamber for like where the water runoff goes into. So the pot actually looks a little bit bigger than what it actually is. I believe I got this pot at uh, the Home Depot or Walmart, and they have the self-draining kind, it says right on there. I did put a good amount of worm castings in this mix, so it, the soil is really fresh, and the plant will really benefit uh, from the natural fertilization so i'm super excited i think this plant will just be doing so much better once it gets into a new pot and it is a good idea to repot or up pot check out the root system of your um you know your plant and you know it's really just a good idea just to check it out check out the roots How are we doing? 
Good, you got it. It's really unstable though. What do you gotta lift? Do you need me to lift you? <clears throat> okay. Do you want me to lift it up into the pot? Or do you wanna cut some of those roots? Or gonna... I don't know, I just wanna like see what's going on here. There is a little moisture, so it doesn't need to be water. We got it out of the pot. Huh? Well, I could have you like lean it back, but be careful of the leaves. I want to look at what's on the bottom. So this is the root structure here. Some people tease the roots. Um, you don't have to do that. You don't have to score them or tease them if you don't want to. Um, you know, the roots find their way by themselves. Some people say it encourages growth. Will you tip it a little bit more so I can see the bottom bottom? I'm just trying to, I'm just looking for bugs. So in order to encourage the roots to spread though, I am gonna tease them just a little bit. way we can get on the other side, Taylor. Just gotta turn it. Can you push it forward? No. Yeah, so this plant is really gonna benefit because the roots are so root bound that, you know, there's just not a lot of soil in between. So I checked the, the roots and the pot for, you know, pests and, and so forth. I didn't really see any, you know, thing that I should be concerned about. Um, now what I've done is I have put the soil around the outer edges. Good to leave probably about an inch and a half at the top. So when you water it, you know, the water doesn't spill over the edge. You saw me tease the roots. You know, you don't have to necessarily do that, but they do say that it does encourage growth. Um, I just decided to do it. I didn't score the roots though with a razor or anything like that. Um, I just didn't feel comfortable doing that, but I know that other people have done that to pothos and had success with that also. But that's just not the method that I prefer to use today. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty much you know the repot video. Uh, we just took a giant pothos and put it into a larger pot that was about one to two sizes larger. Um, and now we are going to enjoy the plant. So we're gonna water it. And now that it's potted up, it has some more space to grow even larger, which is all to the good. Yeah, so thanks for joining me today. Uh, if you haven't heard about plantlux.com, go there and sign up to be notified for when we launch, which should be July 1st. 
and check out you know the uh, plant styling kind of stuff I have available on my website as well as the plants. In order to receive the promos and discounts and deals uh, you have to sign up on the website and like kind of like register so yeah make sure you do that. All right well I will see you later. Bye!